Salesforce certifications are a trusted industry standard qualification and are frequently required by employers. Becoming a Salesforce certified professional indicates a level of proficiency, as well as a commitment to personal and professional development. In addition, with the majority of Salesforce professionals holding at least one certification, and the general consensus being that certs can help you stand out as well as boost your earning potential, there's never been a better time to start thinking about your next steps. I'm Christine Marshall, Salesforce Evangelist at Salesforce Ben. In this video, I'm going to explore the top five certifications to advance your admin career in the real world, those that will help you gain valuable insights and experience that you will likely encounter as an admin. Let's dive in. First up, the Trusty Platform App Builder Certification. This is ideal if you want to demonstrate your understanding of building custom applications on the Salesforce platform using clicks, not code. This exam also starts to venture into the programmatic solutions and will expect you to understand when code would be a more appropriate choice. There is a lot of overlap between this exam and the Advanced Administrator, Sales Cloud Consultant and Service Cloud Consultant exams. Of all the certifications, Platform App Builder has to be my number one recommendation if you are looking for a fundamental cert to advance your career. Why? Where to start? In terms of progression, this cert is going to be required for pretty much every architect role, including B2B solution architect, B2C solution architect, application architect, system architect, and technical architect. It's also one of the top three certifications held by Salesforce professionals, according to the careers and hiring guide. Check out our four guides to the platform app builder exam on the Salesforce Ben blog. And if you think you're ready to take on the real exam, try our free 60 question practice exam to test your knowledge and get section level scoring to help you identify areas for improvement. You'll find the links in the video description. Next up, the Sales Cloud Consultant Certification, which is designed for consultants who have experience implementing Sales Cloud solutions in a customer facing role. This exam zones into Salesforce's most popular and customizable product, taking a deep dive into all the features that make up Sales Cloud, including some of the less frequently used, such as enterprise territory management and advanced currency management. 75% of Salesforce professionals who responded to Mason Frank's careers and hiring guide work with Sales Cloud. It's the original cloud from Salesforce and by far the most popular. This certification is the fourth most popular among Salesforce professionals, so it makes sense then that becoming a certified Sales Cloud consultant could be a smart move. As mentioned, mentioned in our platform app builder overview, there is a lot of overlap between that and Sales Cloud Consultant, so do yourself a favor and study for both. You can find our full certification guide on the Salesforce Ben blog. The Service Cloud Consultant certification is designed for consultants who have experience implementing Salesforce Service Cloud in a customer facing role. This exam will look at Salesforce's second most popular product, diving deep into all the features that make up Service Cloud. 64 4% of Salesforce professionals who responded to Mason Frank's careers and hiring guide work with Service Cloud, and the certification is number six in the list of certifications held, potentially giving you an edge over other candidates. At Salesforce Ben, we all agree that we'd sit up and pay attention to someone with a Service Cloud consultant certification, as it's packed full of complex features such as Salesforce field service. In the digital age, virtual customer service has become increasingly important, and the demand for skilled Salesforce admins well-versed in case management and self-service options such as experience, sites, and knowledge has definitely increased. Want to learn more? Check out the certification guide on the Salesforce Ben blog. The Salesforce CPQ Specialist Certification was created a few years ago after Salesforce acquired Steelbrick CPQ. The certification leads the way for ensuring that those implementing CPQ and the quote to cash process are fully prepared for complex requirements and business models. At Salesforce Ben, we're well aware that there is a trend at present for Salesforce professionals to lean towards specialization in an effort to stand out from the crowd and increase their earning potential. CPQ is a notoriously tricky product and the Salesforce certified CPQ specialists are in demand and in short supply. According to the careers and hiring guide, achieving the certification can command an increase in your salary. If specialization and CPQ sounds like it might be for you, 
check out our full certification guide. What's the hottest, most up and coming role in the Salesforce ecosystem right now? It's got to be the business analyst. It's so popular, Salesforce released the business analyst certification in 2022. It's an ideal way to prove your skills when obtaining clear business requirements, facilitating project discovery, process mapping, and creating user stories. Business analysis is one of the 14 key skills of a successful Salesforce admin, according to the Salesforce Admin Skills Kit and can help you learn how to improve the efficiency of your business operations. It's bonus time. I couldn't resist adding just one more and it might seem a little controversial. It is of course the Platform Developer One certification. Platform Developer One tests your understanding of not only Apex, but declarative tools, best practices, security, user interface, and performance. Now to be clear, we're not saying that you need to learn to code or become a full-blown developer to have a successful career. But we have to acknowledge that the salaries for developers are higher than that of a typical admin, and there is definitely a demand for admin developers. Platform Developer One is also a vital part of the architect pyramid and will be needed if you intend to become a B2B solution architect, application architect, system architect, or a technical architect. Now, if you think you might be ready to take on the PD1 exam, why not try our free 60 question practice exam to test your knowledge. You'll find the link in the video description. I didn't include advanced administrator in this list, but that's not because I don't think it's a valuable certification. I think it's great and it has tons of overlap with platform app builder, sales cloud consultant and service cloud consultant. So if you've done or are planning to do any of these, then consider doing the advanced admin in parallel as it's very complimentary. So what do you think? Which one will you take to advance your career? And more importantly, if someone asked you which certification you would recommend to a Salesforce admin, what would you say? If you're interested in learning more about the various certification pathways available to you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content from Salesforce Ben.